Hello and welcome everyone. Today I am going to be showing you all how I get my super big curly poofy hair looks that I've been doing recently. But before we jump into that, I'd like to say a big thank you to our partner today, which is Scentford. It's $15 a month and you get to sample from over 600 fragrances. They send you this size, it's much bigger than a regular sample, which is normally like that big. It comes in like a nice little travel container. It's an amount set for 30 days. And they partner with designer brands so you can get scents from Versace, Gucci, Prada, etc as well as some more indie brands and they also carry cologne so whatever you prefer they have something for everyone they also even have some skincare and wellness and makeup products that you can get put into your subscription if that's something that you're looking for this month i got scents of wood sandalwood in oak is one right here in the blue like i showed you before and this little card that they send with you to kind of tells you all about it this one's got sandalwood of course burnt sugar, smoked sage. It's definitely more earthy, but it kind of has a little bit of like a spicy smell to it, which is typically the kind of fragrance that I tend to wear. Then I have Red Panda, which came in this nice little container. I like the way that this one looks. I feel like whichever one I use, I'll probably swap out for this container because this is my favorite one. And that's also that's something that's nice about these is that you can take them out, but they also have this nice little travel container that you can put them in and it keeps them safe and then you just twist it to pop it out. So this one, the uh, Red Panda by Sanctuary. This one's got Bamboo Leaf Accord, Red Berries, White Tea, Cashmere Woods, and Fresh Water Accord. This last one is probably my favorite one that I picked out and it's Electric Wood and um, it's by Room 1015. So this one's got like Nutmeg and Oat Wood and Cedar and some Iris. And it also smells like frankincense to me. So this is definitely my favorite one. I'm wearing it today, actually. I'll put another one on because I haven't since I put on my clothes. And I love that these little cards that I kind of mentioned before give a little bit of a description of each one, like that one that I uh, just put on and said was my favorite, the electric wood. It says, I will always remember the day I opened the guitar case for the first time. And that was in the early 90s. It was a Gibson. I was struck by its smell, like a powerful mix of wood lacquer and metal. I think electric wood was born that day and I could definitely kind of get that vision while smelling this and closing my eyes. And they all kind of have a cool little description like that and I'm just a person who loves words and I think it's so beautiful the way that they can kind of paint the scent and the fragrance with just a short little description like that. So if you're interested in Scentbird at all and you wanna check them out, there will be a link down in the description for you as well as a 30% off coupon code. So make sure to use that if you are planning on getting some perfumes. So once again, thank you to Scentbird for partnering with me on this video. And with that being said, let's start with this hair. All right, let's get to it, shall we? Probably gonna need to raise you up a little. That's better. Oh, I wanna show you guys these boots. I just got these from uh, Jeffrey Campbell. It is so nice that they sent me them too because I could definitely not buy them myself. So <laughs> this is like the best gift ever. I like how like the toe is a little squared and the heel's nice and chunky. Normally I do this at night. It's kind of like a process because I have to shower, wait for my hair to dry. Mostly, I do this when my hair is damp. It's kind of dried a little bit more than I wanted to, but I decided I wanted to put on makeup last minute before starting filming. Uh, so that kind of did that. But I have a spray bottle here too, which is something very handy. It's not necessary, but it comes in handy for sure if you're going to be doing something like this because you do want your hair to be a little bit damp. And I feel like even if I had been able to do the hair right when I first step separate. That's what I'm doing. I feel like even if I had been able to do my hair when I was first thinking about it back then when it was a little bit damp, I still would need something to kind of dampen the top parts because they'd be fully dry by the time that I get to them. That's like the first part of my hair that dries anyways. So, 
section off your hair, step one. I guess first we'll talk about everything you need. I just kind of started going into it, but now that we've done that, I'll talk about what you need. So I got these foam rollers. Pretty much any rollers would probably work. Uh, these are just the ones that I'm familiar with. These are the ones that I've pretty much used um, my entire life that I've ever used rollers, like even when I was in preschool and my mom would put them in for dance stuff. Uh, I remember them being foam rollers, I'm pretty sure. I have played around with pin curls before, but that is much harder to do in my opinion and to get the ends really neat. It just takes a lot of precision and with this look I don't really need that. Like I'm not going for super soft 50s like perfect kind of waves. So they don't need to be like super detailed like pink curls I feel like are, which is nice because that just takes out a whole step out of the whole process, you know what I'm saying? So I have a bag full of these here. I have like over 60 because I have a lot of hair. My hair is pretty thick and I want them to be like tight curls so they have to be in small sections plus I want it to stay for a long time. That's one of the benefits of this hairdo is even though it does take like a lot of work up front, it can last you like a couple of days and it's pretty low maintenance for those other couple of days I feel like if you're okay with kind of having teased and um, big hair which if you're on this video I think you're thinking about it, you know? You're interested. These foam rollers I just get from the Dollar Tree. There's a pack of eight for a dollar, so pretty good deal. And I've had some of these ones since high school, so they have definitely lasted me and um, they're worth the purchase, I think. Then you're gonna need something to section off your hair with. Hair tie works perfectly fine. Then some kind of a like spray bottle is also really good because you want to have your hair a little bit damp, like I was saying, and this kind of helps you control that. If you don't have a spray bottle, um, maybe like getting a washcloth wet and you could like run it through your hair or something. That might work, but you know, you're not trying to like really get your hair super wet, otherwise it will not dry. And you will be very sad in the morning when you take them out and all your work was for nothing. I have definitely been there a million times and I'm sure it'll happen again. I'm really loving my hair right now. I cannot look at myself in the viewfinder. Um, the spray bottle was a facial mist spray that I just took off the label and filled it up with water when the spray was done. And that's pretty much it. Then some kind of like a brush or comb, you know, whatever you use to get the knots out. If your hair is really soft, I feel like using something to kind of texture it up can um, help the curls to stay in more too. I feel like blonde hair here from like my personal experience with like family members and friends who have had blonde hair. Um, something about it, it's just like super soft and silky that it does not always hold a curl really well. And of course that's for other colors as well, but I've noticed a lot with blonde hair. Um, and so I would recommend like using some kind of like a texture spray if you have something just a little bit and that can help to hold the curl in if you put it in before you add the rollers and you brush it out a little bit. Even some hairspray might be a little bit helpful in this situation. I did a little bit of hairspray actually, like the second time, because the first time that I tried this recently, it didn't hold as long as I had hoped to. So the second time I did it, I added a little bit of hairspray and it did end up helping a lot. So um, that worked for me and I just kind of like brushed it out before I put in the rollers. But this time I'm gonna put in like a little bit of this I actually don't know what this is. It's a balm. It's a styling balm. Okay. Yeah, my hairdresser gave this to me actually to use for Andrew's mustache and beard, but he just doesn't use it, so I've kind of been using it on my hair a little bit, and um, I haven't tried it for this kind of a situation, but I could see it being helpful. So I'm just putting a little bit on my hands and running it through the section before I start with the rollers. I'm really hoping that this lasts too because um, I'm going to band practice tonight. Normally I will sleep on this kind of a hairstyle, but last night I was just too tired to get in the shower and do the whole shebang. Uh, I was working on a project and I just kind of wanted to keep working on that, so 
yeah i decided that i could do this all today so while i'm putting these in i'm just wrapping it around making sure that the ends get tucked in is a big thing and then i'm rolling them up and not in any really particular direction i feel like you have to pay more attention to that with uh, 50s or 40s or earlier kind of hairstyles but with this I just kind of want it to look more organic and so just having them go in all sorts of directions I feel like I'm taking a lot bigger sections than I normally would too so but I'm okay if I have to do this one like again after a couple days I more just want to get it finished today for you all because I feel like I haven't posted in a little bit I've kind of been gone September was it was a month for sure I've been working on this video for about four weeks now it's not just a video it's a video of a project that I'm working on so I'm really excited to share that I finished the halfway mark last night on the last piece so I'm really excited so technically more than the halfway mark because there's two pieces so I would say the three-fourths mark I did the first half and originally that was all I was going to do but then as I was doing that I kind of had the idea for the second half and on then I decided I'm already in this deep, I might as well just go all the way, so now I have invested another two weeks into this project. <laughs> I'll give you a hint, I'm making an outfit. On to the second row. I think I might start time lapsing this for you because otherwise I'm gonna have like a huge uh, video file. <laughs> Alright, so we have all the rollers in now, and I ended up pretty much using them all, so it's beginning when I said I thought I was taking a lot bigger chunks than I normally do. I probably wasn't. So, now I'm just gonna wrap my head in a scarf, and normally, like I said before, I do this when I'm sleeping, so I usually use this scarf pretty much every night in my hair. Uh, with the rollers and then when the rollers are taken out I still put this around my hair just to help preserve the curls. I forgot that I was wearing makeup. Oh, okay, well, good thing it stayed in place because I just straight up broke my eye. I do that all the time. Um, but anyways, I normally wear this and it's like a good size to really like scrunch in and tie tight and it helps to keep the curlers in at night. So. This is normally my nighttime one, but since I'm doing this during the day and I don't necessarily need it to be super practical, I think I'm going to try out one of these other scarves that will match my outfit a little bit better. So I'm thinking either this one, a little bit smaller than that one, or this one, which is like a long one, which I'll probably wrap around multiple times. I think I'm going to do this one. Okay, my hair is tied up in the scarf, so these are not going anywhere. Now I'm going to wait probably about six-ish hours, five hours, and depending on what time we decide to practice tonight, it usually takes me about an hour to get this down all then as well, and, um, you know, styled. I'll show you when that happens, so I'm going to go edit a video for my patrons now, and just do everyday stuff. I'll see you later on this evening. All right, the time has come. It is about 5.30 and I need to take up the rollers and then pack and go to practice. So here goes nothing. Fingers crossed that this held. Okay, so that's a good sign. Here's the first one. So what I do is I take them out one by one and I kind of tease it like this a little bit and 
This does not make it fun to get out, but it's really not that big of a deal, in my opinion. And then, hairspray. And pretty much just do that around your entire head. There's really no other strategy to doing this hairdo. And I'll probably just do another time lapse because you don't need to uh, sit through this whole thing. It's pretty painstaking, but yeah, you'll get to see the, the whole process just in a much, much more reasonable speed. Okay, as we're approaching the end here, I wanted to get off the uh, time lapse, kind of talk you through, because as I get to the top, I just do like a light tease, because I want the curl to be more structured for the top, whereas on the bottom, I just kind of want it to stay and have volume. And this hair is inspired by Miss Christine of the GTOs. She's like my biggest muse. We love like all the same bands. And she's also Sagittarius, so sisters in a different time, for sure. I'm kind of running out of hairspray this time, so that's why I'm not hairspraying it as much as I normally would. I'm really happy with how the curls are staying in after only, like, I finished at one, started taking out, like, four and a half hours, really. We'll see if it stays at all. But right now, they're looking good. I think the uh, styling cream probably helped as well, so huge shout out to Danny, my hairstylist, also a friend, who gave that to me. If you're in the Chicago area, by the way, and you are looking for somebody to cut your hair in like a 60s and 70s inspired way, she is the person to go to. I'll put her like Instagram down here for you to check out if you're curious. For the longest time, I would only cut my hair. I did not trust anybody else to ever touch my hair, especially my bangs. That was an absolutely no, um, but she is a whole different story. I have full trust with her and she never disappoints. So if you're in the area, you know, I recommend. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep the bangs down as like curly bangs. Kinda nice I can get my fringe back for a little bit since I haven't cut it since quarantine so when my hair is straight it's too long to wear down but it's kind of the perfect length for these curls and if you have curly hair like this naturally uh, you're very lucky because look at what I'm going through to get this people will do this if you have naturally curly hair I know it's probably easier said than done but uh, you should love it and I'm sure you hear that from people with straight or non-curly hair all the time because my best friend Cassie has really really curly hair and I know she heard it all the time. Here it is, so I'm not going to tease the bangs at all because I kind of like this so I'm just kind of separating them with my fingers a little bit and I want to get one curl down like the GTO's kind of loop-de that they did, Miss Christine did, and I've seen Miss Cinderella doing it. And Sandra did that kind of like a little squiggle. It might all be too curly at this point to do some of that. I'm stoked. This hair also reminds me of um, Poison Ivy from the Cramps, just with my red as well, especially when I don't tease it as much and just kind of leave the curls be how they are. I've been loving putting stuff in my hair when it's like this because it'll kind of hold stuff there. So I have some feathers that I've been sticking in, some dried flowers, some like mini uh, fabric flowers. And then I got this specifically to put in my hair. Twist it around. And then I've got him in there. So that is it. That is the hair. Let me know if any of you try this out. I'd love to see some pictures. I think that it's a really fun hairstyle and it lasts you a couple of days. So another bonus 
Remember to check out the link in the description for a discount with Scentbird. Big thanks to them again for sponsoring this video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day, whatever you're doing, and I'll catch you in the next one.